Hi, Cole Benfield here with CKN Sports. We're down here at the NHRA 4 wide in Charlotte, North Carolina. Good to see you again, Tanner. Hey. So I'm going to be asking a few questions about your car and what you have to wear while you're racing. So we're going to go ahead and talk about the car for right now. Can you go ahead and give us, like, what's the run that you do when you're down there on the track? So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip up all these switches except for these last two on this switch panel. I'm going to push the clutch in there, and that's first gear. All the way to the top is first gear. I'm going to let the clutch out, start rolling. Crew chief is going to get me straight up through the water box. When I get set, I'm going to pull back to second, then third. I'm going to push the clutch in. I'm going to set my line lock. It's brake pressure to 1,000 pounds, and I'm going to hold this button on the steering wheel. I'm going to rev it up to about 5,000 RPM, dump the clutch, get the RPM steady out to about 8,000, shift fourth, fifth, let go of the line lock, run out across the line, put the clutch in, and get the car stopped. And then when the car's stopped, I'm going to pull this lever, and that's going to put it in reverse. I'm going to let the clutch out, back up, back up, let the chief tell me through the radio, left, right. I'm going to get stopped. I'm going to put it back up in gear. I'm going to pull forward and let the crew chief line me up once again. When the crew chief says I'm straight, I'm going to pull up to the guy that we have stopping me before the, uh, before the beams. I'm going to get stopped and I can actually take everything off and just, and just rest while they set the wheelie bars. Jeff, our guy that lines me up up here, is going to Bang on the hood and tell me to go ahead, push the clutch in, put it in gear, and get set to go ahead and pre-stage. So then I'm rolling in with the, with the clutch and the brake at the same time. I'll roll in. When I see my top bulb set, come on, my pre-stage bulb. I'm going to stop and make sure you keep it in first. But I'm going to stop, set my line lock to about 350 pounds. I'm going to hold this button, rev it up to about 3,500, 4,000. RPM and start easing the clutch out to go in and stage. When I'm staged, I'm gonna push the clutch in, deck the car, let up the clutch, second, third, fourth, fifth, put my hand up here on the chute lever, pull the chutes, push the clutch in, shut all the switches off. That's pretty much it. Wow, that's a, that's a lot of steps. So, how long did it take you to get used to like to remember all that? Uh. Probably, probably uh, 10, 15 runs before it comes natural. Um, you know, it, it, it's one of those deals where you do it enough, you don't really have to think about it. It's about, it's about like riding a bike. Once you think, once you get used to it, you don't really have to think about pedaling. All that stuff just kind of comes natural, and, and you worry about looking at this light and, and shifting and, and hitting the hitting the tree the best you can. So. I mean, it's hot out here right now just wearing what I'm wearing, so is it really hot when you're wearing your suit? Yeah, so in these cars we have to wear a, uh, a, a Dash 15 fire suit, so you can you can feel how thick that is. So uh, it, gets, it gets pretty hot in here. Uh, I know that there's, uh, there's a lot of heat and air, everything else coming up from, from the oil and, and uh, all just the rear end components in here. So. And the engine heat's coming through, so it gets pretty hot. So, I heard you say that's a fire suit. What's the importance of wearing that suit? So you don't catch on fire. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I mean, basically just to keep you safe. Uh, you know, I wear this, and then I wear fireproof underwear underneath it to, uh, to ensure I don't get burned. Okay, well, thank you so much for letting us interview you. And amazing car, and I hope you do good today and tomorrow. So thank you so much.